Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's Bee Reviews. <laughs> I got a special guest over here. Hello again. His name's Alex. He's a good buddy of mine. Today we're going to be drinking the Coors Light Iced Tea, uh, informally known as Clit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting, waiting to say that one for a while now. Um, yeah, so Coors Light release, uh, released a beer, which is an iced tea mixed with beer, hence Clit. Uh, it's a 4% ABV at 473 milliliters per bottle, uh, and it was brewed in, well, it says a lot of places, so forget that. <laughs> Just look in the description, it'll be there. Uh, we're going to be drinking out of a Stein and a Hobgoblin branded pint glass. All right, let's give it a whirl. Looks just like beer. What did I see? Yeah. It's going to be difficult for me to match this up, being the types of glasses that they are. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. You drink your slower, so I'll just give you less. <laughs> it actually works out perfectly. Awesome. Wondering if it's going to be sweet. Wow. It smells I, like it. <laughs> it smells like, uh, not, not cantaloupe. It smells like grapefruit. A little bit. Definitely citrus in there. Yeah, it's got this kind of like a rancid citrus aroma. It almost smells a lot like the zest off of a grapefruit. It's pretty weird. All right, uh, got a crap load of carbonation here. It looks like an iced tea and it looks like a beer. So that's pretty cool. The head is totally white. We've got a one finger head. The more I smell it, the worse it smells. <laughs> yeah, it smells like dish soap. <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm gonna like this. This is a total experiment, so uh here it goes. Yeah. I find it really bland. Yeah. It almost really just tastes like a watered down beer with like a touch of lemon or something. <laughs> but then there's a huge beer aftertaste actually. Yeah. Very definitely a big beer aftertaste. Like I don't like Coors. But when I when I get the aftertaste, I I, I taste the Coors light there. It's crazy. Yeah, that has way less flavor at the start though than it, the smell would suggest. Yeah, I'd say iced tea on the front, Coors on the rear. That's the best way to explain this one. It's not as rancid as I was expecting it to be. I mean, you get that iced tea flavor at the beginning, but it's a very, very bland iced tea flavor. Uh, all you really get from it is just a little bit of sweetness, I guess. It's like beer with real lemon in it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Could you compare it to, like, Bud Lime and that kind of stuff? No? Not really, because the, the flavors are just way more there and Bud Lime and that. Yeah. I mean, it's incredibly safe to say that this is going to be a chick's drink this summer. Um, they came out in a tall can, and they came out in a six-pack of bottles. So, rather than being let down by a $12 six-pack, I thought I'd just grab a can. Be a man. I can see people who don't like the bite that some beers have at first going for this. Yeah. I guess you could almost call it like a gateway beer for, for the ladies. I mean, if you want to stick with the whole ladies comment. Because um, generally, women that are just starting to drink hate beer. Um, I found that with a lot of different people. So I'm not being, you know discriminating here whatsoever. So I could see the young female crowd starting to dig this. Uh, you do have a good point though. Very few people trying beer for the first time actually like it. Yeah. Yeah, that being said, I'm going to stick with this as a kind of like a gateway beer. Um, not gateway iced tea. <laughs> gateway beer. You don't, you don't drink this for iced tea. Um, and you know what? 
I hate to say this, but I hate coolers a lot. And if I had to pick some kind of a cooler drink to drink somewhere, I'd probably have to choose this over a cooler. I would choose this over a cooler any day. It's a hangover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plus, I get like the sweet tooths the next day. Oh yeah. And uh, and I really hate the taste of pina colada, which is usually in a lot of coolers. Mm. Aside from that, oh, and coolers also taste like carbonated freezy. Yeah. You ever tried the blue vex? Oh my lord! Doesn't yeah. that taste like blue freezy? I I can't even get past the second sip. <laughs> so dirty. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I don't really think there's much more we can say about this. Uh, it's beer with a little bit of iced tea in it. They're definitely getting ready for the summer with this. I don't know how far they're going to go. As long as it's not on the shelves, as long as Bud Lime, I'll be happy. You know, it's really gross because when you bring it to your mouth and you get that little bit of aroma from it, a nasty aroma really throws off the taste right before you're about to take a sip. I find that the biggest downfall. It does. Yeah. Well, I think that's it. It definitely doesn't taste like it has any alcohol in it whatsoever, which is something else I forgot to mention. It says 4%, but I feel like it's like a non-alcoholic beverage. I know what it smells like now. I left some orange juice in the fridge way too long once. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring that up, but that's what it smells like. It smells like bad orange juice. It tastes a lot better than that, though. I guess, like, the pulp of orange juice kind of tastes like that. I don't know. There's a lot of weird things going on in there. Anyways, uh, I don't know. Uh, what kind of a rating would you give it? You got to think about it, though, too, right? Like, we usually rate beer. Yeah. Now we're rating iced tea mixed with beer for the first time. I, I'm probably going to give it like a 3 out of 10 because I, I couldn't even consider this, like, like if you were to have an average mix between iced tea and beer, I would expect it there to be a lot more going on in both departments. Yeah. There's definitely a lot lacking. The highest I'd give it would be like a four for effort, mostly. <laughs> yeah. It'd be hard to make something like tea with beer. You have a brewed leaf product and a brewed grain product. It does not sound like it's going to go well together. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Another thing I found that uh, about this... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, there you have it. Fail. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Now that I've had this, I'm not so disturbed at the idea of iced tea being mixed with beer. I'm actually be a little bit more willing to try another kind of a concoction like that. Yeah, if another brewery came out with it, I'd, I'd be willing to give it another try just to see if they could do it right. I agree. There you have it, people. Make some good iced tea beer. And don't call it clit. <laughs> you can see the sugar in the bottom. It's not even carbonation. Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> That's comforting. You can't really see it on camera, but when it's flat, all you can see is like a layer of sugar. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Anyways, that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me in another one of Chris's beer reviews. Thanks for joining me, Alex. And uh, we're going to come back with another one. Cheers.